girls staring at the ceiling takes place in a hospital. The most magical, romantic, beautiful night of Chess's life has turned into something just unspeakably dreadful. And she finds herself in an emergency room at 5 a.m. The face is on the pain chart where numbered bow ties. Zero has a dimwit smile. Ten's eyes trickle tears. Put ten. They'll take us faster. Mom's face would be off the chart if they measured fear. A gray-faced woman cradles her belly. Big as a grapefruit by the time they found it, whispers the lady beside us. And we're not talking the three, four dollar kind. Ow! 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 This is getting really bad! What number? Higher? So they'll take us sooner? Lower? So I can be sure they'll let me go? Hey! I'm in pain here, people! I've been sitting in this chair since 2 a.m. And don't be pretending you don't know me. I saw that oh shit at Shannon look before you went all blink and bland and shit. Chess, sweetie, let me do the paperwork. Mom's cuticle is bleeding. Not even 6 a.m. I dressed for work. If they take me next, I might not be late. Yo, I'm a walking pain chart here. If I could even walk, which I'm in too much pain, which you would see if you take the freaking time to freaking look at me. The old lady holding the girl's hand sees Mom wince, throws her a mortified, scared sigh. Pay today, birthday next week, Boston trip to look at colleges. They could say it was a freak, a fluke. Too much hot sauce, too many pickles, mixing marshmallows and beer. If I don't tell anyone, I can forget it happened. If I can forget it happened, I'll never have to tell. How are you doing, Francesca? The doctor's face, so kind I almost cry. Not too good, I say. Yo! You better save me, Doc, because your ugly face is not going to be the last thing on this earth that I see. In the book, Shannon has been sick since she was 10, and she's been in and out of the hospital, and she's got a lot to be really mad about. And as the book goes on, you find out that she's not just a, a mean, terrible, pissed off person, but she's had pretty much everything in her life go wrong. 1.56 a.m. The lollipop head, dragon-eyed, puff-bellied, emergency room girl flops down in my chair and tucks up paper-slippered feet, too big for her tiny body. Hope you're not planning on sleeping anytime soon. No way I can sleep with all this shit they got me on. You're not a moaner, are you? Chess, Francesca. I wanted to be the opposite. I wanted it to be a girl who had everything going for her, who was good at school, she's really pretty, she does everything she's supposed to, she follows every rule, and then whammo, life deals her this terrible surprise. No reason to think, every reason to believe. Tough disease, hard sometimes to make a definitive, but the tests all indicate. Chronic, but these days... Bald head doctor's voice, too fast, too smooth. Too jolly, hearty, way too close. Drawing squiggly pictures of intestines as mom nods and peppers him with questions I can't listen to. I don't know this hard and tough language. Don't speak disease. And I am so tired. I close my ears until he's gone. And through the curtain, Shannon mutters. Duh, I could have diagnosed her two days ago. You don't need to be a friggin' genius to know she's got Crohn's. Same as me, Crohn's. Inflammatory bowel- You don't know me. You know nothing about me. Mom, could you see if this curtain closes any tighter? 3.22 a.m. Chess, you asleep? No, just lying here, thinking about that night. I almost tell her then, how it started out so beautiful so magically, amazingly beautiful. This disease ought to come with amnesia, you know that? 4.35 a.m. Chess, I was thinking about opening the curtain. Is that okay with you? Open be good. Listen, if I die, will you send me flowers? And don't tell me I'm not dying, I know that. But if I do, I'll totally send you flowers. Then I'll send you some too. But I don't want ugly, cheap-ass ones. Carnations and shit. Or gladiolas. I hate gladiolas. 
There was an old lady at my church named Gladiola. She was ugly, too. Don't worry. I even hate the word Gladiola. Get me red roses. So many my eyes will bug out even though I'm dead. So many I can smell them through my coffin. What should I get you? Red roses will do. Or we could send each other something now, without dying. Because, I mean, if we both die, we're basically screwed. Thank mm -hmm. you.